What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. This is gonna be so simple. I saw what you guys had liked about that last chicken video that I did, I got one for you. Today, I'm getting ready to show you how to make an easy, listen, this is just a creamy Cajun chicken. Let's get it. Okay, so you guys can look, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So let's just go over them. And let me just say this right now so you guys can know this. Listen, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Now, that being said, let's go over them. All right, this right here, you've been following me for a minute, you know I like to use that Creole kick. And listen, I did say Cajun, right? So you wanna have some type of Cajun slash Creole seasoning. For me, I'ma always use Creole kick, right? By Sweet Smoky Joe's. Then we gotta have a little flour. Cause look, we are gonna put these, these this chicken, we're gonna go ahead and cut it, put it in the pan. We got a little butter. Freshly grated, you know, Parmesan. Garlic powder. Hey, listen, garlic powder. And we gonna kick it up a little bit with this, uh, with these garlic cloves. And you know, right now I'm still fascinated with this press. This does all the work, no more mincing and all of that. This is right here is the way to go. Now, Right here, check this out. This is some chicken stock. And then we got heavy whipping cream, salt and pepper. Then I'm using branch and vine. This is the scallion, the scallion, scallion infused olive oil. You know what I mean? So listen, I got this out here representing that, but I'm gonna actually pour outside of this bottle. If you guys haven't gotten none of this, you gotta get some. I'll put all of the information for all the products that I'm using for the ones that I think that you guys gotta have. For me, it's just Branch and Vine and it's Sweet Smoky Joe's. Hey, you gotta have it. And then here we got sun-dried tomatoes. Look at that. And I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna do it like this so you guys can see them. This right here, we kicking it up and raging up the, uh, the flavor profiles, right? So listen, we gotta start using recipes. And this is right here, I'm gonna say this is a must have. Now, if you didn't wanna have none of this, cause a lot of people might not have this, you know, in their repertoire. So I can say you can use like some adobo, like chipotle paper, excuse me, chipotle pepper, you know, an adobo sauce, that works just as good too. Okay, so I just showed you guys the ingredients, right? Only thing I didn't show is this right here. I just pulled this out of the refrigerator because I just, you know, took them out the package, right? Look, I got two chicken breasts. I haven't even done any trimming on them or nothing like that. We're going to cut them in half. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, dry ingredients and keep it super simple. I'm going to just start with the flour, right? We're going to take the flour and we're going to take our dry ingredients. And we're just going to add about half of this in here, just like you see. A little bit more. That's it. That's the Creole kick. Now, once we put that there, now I'm going to go ahead and just take my whisk. Just whisk this together. And the reason it's a reason why I'm putting it on a plate. Super simple, super easy. You guys do it just like this. You'll be cooking in no time. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add that to my plate. What I'm doing is I'm setting up a dredging station. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Let's look at this, uh, this chicken. It's already been washed. You know what I mean? Uh, and I got it. Everybody don't wash them now or whatever, but when it comes to me, we're going to go ahead and give it a wash. Now, chicken breast. Only way I can tell you guys, look at the thick, you know, when you have a chicken breast in your hand, you can look at it and you can see there's a certain part about it that's super thick, right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut this off because I just want it to look good. You know what I mean? Uh, do you need to cut this off? No. Now, we want to get this to be thin. Let's use our brain. Let me go ahead and trim some of this little, this little fat off. We just want it to look as best as possible. So now, we want it to cook even, right? Obviously, it's a little thinner over here, right? Look at that. And then when you get right here, it's thicker. So that means it's gonna take more time to cook this to be thorough, and this part will be might be overcooked, right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take it, we're just gonna figure out what is about half, and then we're just gonna give it a cut, a slice, just like you see here. You wanna be careful, you know what I mean? Hold your hand flat, make sure you, you don't have your fingers in the way. Just go ahead and just keep on cutting down this way. It does two things for you. Look, it gives you a thin piece. This is this other piece is just a little bit thicker, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off too. But I want you to imagine this. When we put this in the pan, now we got three pieces here. So I'm gonna set this off over to the side. Let me get this next one together. And 
then we're gonna go ahead and get everything dressed and starting to uh, brown in, in the skillet. Okay, so we got these cut, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken and we just finna dredge. We just wanna get some of this seasoning on here, right? We wanna shake it. And then we'll just let it sit up on there like that. So what I'm gonna do is look, just take it, sprinkle a little bit of salt, maybe just a couple of little small pinches, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this pepper. I like to add it to my chicken, you know, right here. I could have put it in the flour, but this is just to like season the actual meat. And that little bit of salt right now is gonna wake up the flavors, you know what I mean? And just make it like super strong. You know what I mean? Not super strong, but it's just gonna make it weird. I don't even know the words I wanna use for it, but it's not super strong. It just wakes up the flavor. We'll bring this back. And now we coat. Real easy, just like this. No need to pat down because we're not putting this in no grease. We're not trying to, you know, form that type of crust. We just want to put some brown on it, put a little bit of more flavor on it, cooking this, this flour, and then we move forward. Okay, you know, real simple. Don't want to bore you guys, you know what I mean? Breading, I mean, coating chicken is just like super easy, right? So you see we got them here. Now, what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to a medium high heat. Once this gets some heat in there, we're gonna go ahead and add our butter and our olive oil. Now look, I'm using Branson Vine infused olive oil. I try not to even cook with uh, regular olive oil anymore because I got so many and so many flavors, but anytime it's just calling for something and I wanna just raise it up just a little bit, I go with just either garlic or scallion. But today, I'm going with scallion. So I'll put it here. Once this comes up to temp, we'll get this going and then we are gonna move on. It's gonna move real fast from here. So go ahead and let your mouth start watering because it's getting ready to happen. So just wait. Now remember, look, I'm using an induction top. So it heats from the center. Look, and by being a cast iron, it's got to heat the center and then travel all the way out. So a lot of times I put my hand here to see where we at, or I do like this, and I can feel, hey, it's on its way. So good enough for me to start. I'm gonna go ahead and take my garlic infused, excuse me, my scallion infused olive oil. Just put in about a teaspoon. Oh, that's good right there. Set that off to the side. Now we're gonna add our butter. Once this is completely melted, we already got this, the chicken coated, then we're gonna go ahead and brown. We just wanna brown probably for about four or five minutes on each uh, each side just to get a little bit of that color. When we take them out, we'll set them all to the side, and then we're gonna start building some more flavors for that soap, almost like a gravy. Okay, take a look at this right here. Look at the look at the color right there. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Look, remember, this is under a medium high heat. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one because it was in the center. Remember the heating element on an induction top is right here in the center. I'm gonna take this and move this to the outside, and let it cook this way. Now we're gonna let it go for another four minutes. Okay, now here's the thing. You gotta get yourself a another plate. And I got it. Today, I'm showing out by using my real plates, right? But you know, I like to use them uh, paper plates. So let's take these out. Let's look at this, ah, look at that. You see that? We'll just take them, we'll just put them right here. Now I didn't reduce no fire, nothing like that. I still got it going. Pan nice and hot, got a whole lot of flavor, right? Look at that. So I'm gonna set that there. Now, let's go ahead and mince a little bit of this garlic. You know, when you mention in one of these press like this, oh man, you wanna talk about being aromatic. Real nice. Now don't forget, I gotta keep saying that I'm using an induction top, so I'm gonna keep everything towards the edge. Just for now. Now, you see I got sun-dried tomatoes. It's up to you, you guys can cut them down. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them big, you know, this size. I'm just gonna go ahead and add them just not, you know, just like this. Now they came in an olive oil already, right? So we just gonna move this around, cook this, get them warmed up and loosened up just for a second. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this down to a, a medium, you know, medium heat. All right, now, remember we had a little chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this in. Now what I did was I had reduced it for a hot second and now I just raised it back up to 375 degrees, which is just nothing but a medium high heat, right? So now that this is going, we wanna go ahead and add our cream.
Now, we take our cream, we're gonna just stir this in. Now, don't forget we had a little bit of that Creole kick left, right? Because we just separated it, used half at one point, one stage, now we're gonna use the other half. Now, before I add my Creole kick, I wanna see this come back up to a simmer. So we'll just wait a second. Now I'm using my flat side of my wooden spoon just to cut a couple of these in half, just so that it go a little further, that's all. So now I'll leave it alone, we'll let it simmer for about 30 seconds, then I'm gonna go ahead and add my the remainder of the Creole kick. That's good enough right there. Let's go ahead and get this in here. Uh, okay. After letting it simmer, you can see as you, you know, you're still giving it a stir, you can see it starts, it starts to thicken up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put this up. Now let's go ahead and start adding our chicken back in there, right? Just like you see. Let's get some of this over here, some of these sun-dried tomatoes all over. I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna add a little bit just over the top, right? And we're gonna let it cook. And we're gonna let it cook for about five minutes, you know, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna reduce it down, probably let it cook for another 10 minutes just to make sure everything is thoroughly cooked. And then we're gonna go from there. Okay, you guys seen it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece right here. Uh, let's just go ahead and put this on the top. Now you want to think about what we're going to serve this with. Man, you can serve this over some rice and it will be fire. So let me get this set up, you know what I mean? So I can go ahead and cut it and we finna eat this. Oh, I can tell you right now, just moving it around, touching it with the knife. Look, how, it's so tender. You know what I mean? When I touch, ah, uh, ooh wee. Let me just cut me. I want a, a nice slice out of here. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that's it right there. Cheers, y'all. I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm laughing. I watch a lot of YouTube channels myself, and I see them when they go to do their taste test, they acting all crazy and all that, but this one right here make me wanna jump up and click my heels. Now, if you've been watching me, you know what I'm thinking. What is this? It's fire. Now look, I'm sorry I did that to you. Look, I used every possible trick in the book to just go ahead and keep on eating. You wanna talk about fire? This is the one right here. Hey, super easy to make, and I like these little one-pot meals. I don't know if you guys are gonna say it's a one-pot meal because we took the chicken out, put it on the plate, and then we went right back. But as far as I'm concerned, that's a one-pot meal, made super fast and super easy. Now, with that being said, that should be in your top 25 videos, right? Of, uh, you know, like fa your favorite recipes. And the reason I say 25, because look, we done did so many. Instead of saying top three, top four, top five, top 10, we gonna go to 25. Because listen, this channel right here brings that heat. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, I want to take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. And I want you to tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And those of you guys have been watching me, watching me for a minute, you know what I'm about to say. I'm out of here. Peace.